So I've been working in a workshop this morning, in particular on these two small uh, like preparation bays, um, and we needed just to put some some lighting into each bay. And so all I've run is a fluorescent light in each. They're not fully fixed down yet. I still need to do a couple of bits, but I just thought I'd film it at this stage and show what we've done. I haven't filmed me doing it because it's just been too awkward to, um, to do it. So we've obviously got a light switch for this light, light switch for that light. Come around here, we've got the original lighting circuit or the one mil twin earth that was fed from there. That circuit's only about six months old. So the circuit wasn't long enough to reach all the way through. Now normally I'd just join it into a, a normal 20 amp round junction box but I thought I'd use the Wago connectors instead and use a Wago box and just see how they go. So you've got your obviously your three line neutral and your earth or your CPC and I have connected those into uh, a couple of Wago connectors. They will obviously go into that box. I've obviously clipped it all the way down. If you look in the corner and at the bottom, I've left uh, a considerable loop, and that's just to allow, this is a timber frame building. Obviously this is a timber frame cupboard, but the building's also timber frame, and it's quite surprising sometimes how much movement there is in the building. So I never have any of my sort of bends or anything too tight, and it's looped around there. If you come around to here, the cable then comes through the wall there. I'll put a, a clip in there, I haven't put that clip in yet. That clip will then, that cable then comes to feed this switch here. So we've got our supply coming in, obviously to the top, and then we've got our outgoing line to the actual light, and then I've used the uh, the Wago connectors, the three gang Wago connectors for the earth and the neutral. The good thing with these particular ones is that you can see the exposed copper coming through and so you can tell that it's a, a nice, a, a really good connection in there. We then go around to the other side. Again, I've used the same connectors here, albeit they're two gang ones. And access the light. There will be a, a fascia board going across the top here just to hide the base of the light. Can open this one. And again, access the switch. 